Today, one Wiregrass community grieving the loss of a 17 year old believed to be killed by his younger brother. They now remember the life of the Pike County student with a prayer vigil. WDHN's Robert Smith has the story. The remnant of Troy opened up their prayer group this week to the city and county as there has been a dark cloud looming over Pike County for the last few days. Over 50 people representing churches of all denominations, every school and daycare in Pike County and Troy, and community residents of every age and race came together to worship and pray for healing after a 17-year-old Pike County student was allegedly murdered by his 14-year-old brother. We felt a strong call to cover that family to cover that school and those teachers that interacted with the family. Um, Pike County and Troy are definitely family and we love them just as much as if they were in the city. And so we wanted to support and be there for them. According to Pike County authorities, the 14 year old boy shot his 17 year old brother while they were at their home alone in the Banks community on Monday and then dragged his body 60 yards to the back of the property where the body was found the next day. On Tuesday, before the body was found, the Pike County Sheriff's Office investigators say the 14 year old went to school and made disturbing and threatening statements to multiple students about shooting up the school. And they found a hit list in his backpack with family members names on it. Charlie Newman, a farming mentor to the 17 year old victim and knows the 14 year old suspect was not aware of any challenges within the household. He attended the prayer vigil heartbroken about the tragedy. The, the, the older brother of that you know, is no longer with us, would have been 18 yesterday. Um, he was on the tractor, you know, doing work for me. And yesterday I got on that tractor and as my hand touched that steering wheel, it just, I, I just shook. The younger brother um, having a hit list um, of additional victims, in my heart of heart, I would like to think that he, he couldn't have carried that out. Newman says with his belief in God, he believes the 14 year old will be forgiven for allegedly taking his brother's life. Newman said the 17 year old loved farming as he worked with him many times and the student was also involved in the future farmers of America. It, it was a, what I consider a God connection because he got to operate machinery and you know, I told his dad, I said, I'm gonna look out for this young man as if he was my own. If it's not one thing after another, just a few days before the student's death, Pike County was served a suspension for their role in the football brawl with Headland. Norris says the trouble and dark cloud over Pike County warranted for spiritual healing. We woke up and we spoke to the storm today, and that's what we said. We've drawn a line in the sand. We're not going to tolerate it anymore. The special forces, the prayer warriors are awakened, and we are going to actively stand over Pike County and Troy. In Troy, Robert Smith, WDHN News for the Wiregrass.